Hello and welcome to a new video. After recently working on max stats, I decided to up the ante and get myself a better cooler looking cape than my slayer cape to wear while doing skilling. So I decided to go for the one and only champion's cape, which requires me to get 10 different scrolls and each scroll has a 1 in 5k drop rate. So a huge grind is in front of me. Just got my first champion scroll, got it here at the goblins. So it was all the way up there. So I panicked for a second because I couldn't see it. That's the reason I turned the recorder on too late. But I didn't use any potions and just AFK right I, I didn't use any prayer, but I used range pots and just a blowpipe with eddy darts with void max gear. And yeah, saw that in a guide that this is the best spot. Took me around two and a half hours, I would say. Woohoo! I just got my champion scroll after like 3k kills. And I had to go to a 2k total world instead of the 2.2k because they both were packed and I got PK'd like 5 minutes ago. So I just came back, hopped to the 2.2k total world and got myself my champion scroll. Ooh, really nice. Two champion scrolls out of the way. Out of the many. So after quite a bit of time of killing ghouls, it's actually several months later because I stopped working on the champion scrolls. I finally got myself the champion ghoul champion scroll. I don't really know how many I killed, but I think it was more than 5000. But yeah, I, I took a break, so I don't really know how much time I actually spent on it. I also did some on mobile and never got it and now today after like 10 minutes I just get it really nice. So after 6500-ish hill giants I finally got myself my giant champion scroll. I did it here in Sia. You can stand right here and have the cannon shoot around there and then you kill loads of them. I'm not sure how many an hour but I think it's like 600 or more so it's actually quite okay but I still had to do it for like 10 hours, so quite long for that one scroll. So let's get and going and let's get the next scroll. So I also got 44 giant keys, 15 long bones and a curved bone from the hill giants. By the way, the curved bone is 1 in 5k and I got it like right at the beginning in my first 100. I got a bit unlucky on the giant keys or forgot to pick up about 6, I'm not sure. Because you should get 44 giant keys in 5.6k hill giants and I killed about 6.5k. So I think I just didn't pick up like 6 to 10 of them or I got a bit unlucky. So I will kill Obor 44 times now just because I have the keys and why not kill him if you have the keys already. So this right here is the last kill. Um, I got actually got one clop and in total it gave me 1.5 mil. Took me around 40 minutes to do 51 kills. So I actually don't think it's worth it to kill Obor even if you have the keys if you are just after the money. But you get a kill count on a boss there where it's hard to actually get kill count. Because 51 obors is actually quite a lot. I think most people have less than that. Because who the hell kills hill giants. So if you ever have the keys and you are a maxed out main. It's not worth it. Obor is worse money than most normal bosses. That are can be killed on a high level. Even if you try to kill it at max pace. With rigor, full void, blowpipe, dragon darts, everything. It's only like. I'd say 80 kills an hour or something like that if you have the keys already. So let's get on to the next scroll. Finally man, after like 10 hours of killing chokers, I got the champion scroll. I placed the can right here, stand right here and it kills like those four chokers here. I think it's like 300 an hour or so. In total I killed like 3k of them I think. Or a bit more, maybe 3.5k I think in total so yeah got a bit lucky here i think but still 
took quite some time because there's no real fast fast spot for chokers I think. Finally I got it, the Earth Warrior Champion Scroll. Holy shit. I think in total I did about 5000 kills, I recorded the loot of about 4000 of them, let me have a look. Yeah, today I only did 111, but before that I did 3500, then in one sitting over one weekend and then three times about 500. And it's only like 200 to 250 kills an hour the way I do it. I just set up the can here and AFK here on a 2.2k total world. And I never got attacked. So I was here for like 20 hours and I didn't get attacked a single time. So the 2.2k total world at Earth Warriors is super secure. Total loot, not much. I would say like maybe 20 Renner seats or something like that. Spent a lot more on cannonballs and Sora scales. This is the setup I used right here. Um, total risk is actually quite low. I only risk 1.3 mil if I have the can picked up and like 500k if I have it set down. So not really a lot to risk. So let's get to kill the next one, I would say. Holy shit, this was fast, man. Oh, after only 973 Hobgoblins, I got a Hobgoblin Champion Scroll. Those are like 1.8k kills per hour if you do it properly. So this actually only took me like 40 minutes, I guess, for the Hobgoblin Champion Scroll. Really nice. There's only three more scrolls to go, so... I just got the... Uh, Zombie champion scroll and it's still the same day where I got the hobgoblin and the earth warrior champion scroll So today I'm lucky as fuck because I only did 3k zom zombies and I think drop rate is 5k on all champion scrolls So got quite a bit lucky here. I think it's like 1000 kills an hour. So got like two hours lucky but earth warriors took me like the drop rate or a bit more than the drop rate so I get lucky at the wrong places, but zombie champion scroll out of the way as well. Now there are only two left, I think, because I have eight now. Let's have a look at the bank. Yeah, you can see it right here. I don't have any bank space. Oh, sh fuck this. Um, I don't need those. Okay, you can see I have eight right now. So, only two more to go. Sheet, I just got the imp champion scroll after only like 700 imps. This is the fourth fucking champion scroll today. I'm the luckiest motherfucker ever. It's only the skeleton one left and then I'm done. Oh, I'm so happy that this one was fast because there's the method where you place the cannon here and then you go to the monastery and kill the imps there. But that got too annoying, so I just AFK right next to the cannon. Yeah. Got kind of boring. Like, I played other accounts, but still. It was basically no kills, like 300 kills an hour or so. So, like, two hours of killing imps and already got the scroll instead of the drop rate, which would have been, like, 15 hours of this. Really nice. So, now it's time for the last scroll. Holy shit. I just got the last champion scroll, the one for the skeleton, and it didn't even take me long at all. I only did 656 skeletons, like for the last five, last four champion scrolls, I got super damn lucky. In the beginning, I wasn't super lucky, I only was like average lucky, but now the luck turned around like hard. Like, hard, hard. Like, amazing. So, let's do all the champion scrolls. Or no, I'll probably do that tomorrow when I can talk in a normal tone because it's nearly 3 a.m. right now. Okay. So, in this challenge, I can't use any gear. I understand this correctly. So, let's enter here. Let's drop this. Let's attack him. This right here should be it. First champion down. Once I hit the fucking three. Yeah, now. Or five. Nice. 
So I can pick up the champion scroll again and get myself the next one. Okay, next one is the goblin. Need to drop this because I might one hit it. Can only use mage on this one. Yeah, and this should be the KO. Really nice. So let's pick up the scroll again and let's get out of here. So for the next champion, the ghoul champion, it said weapons only. But I'm not exactly sure what that means. It might mean... Okay, now that I dropped everything apart from my weapons, let's have a look how this goes. Yeah, I could just pray range. Easy. Okay, so for the giant one, it said only melee attacks. So I assume I drop it here, put that on, put the dragon claws on, and claw him out. Really nice. So let's get the next one. Okay. So for the Joker champion scroll, the only limitation was no range attacks. So let me just melee him. Come on, finish him. Nice. So the only limitation for the Earth Warrior fight is that no prayers are allowed. So just hope that I get some good specs. Yeah, should be super easy. All those champions are easy, but this one actually looks kind of cool. So the only challenge for the Hobgoblin one is no melee attacks. So I just took out the range setup again. Let's put range, let's put on this. Oh, this one looks juicy. Nice. Let's take out an auto retaliate for a second. I want to look at it. Oh, never seen this NPC before. That looks kind of cool. They could actually reuse those somewhere. The only challenge for the zombies. Uh, the only challenge for the zombie boss is that no mage attacks, but since I wasn't even using mage before, I can just claw him out. So let's drop the champion scroll and let's put some damage on him. Yeah, two claw specs and he's down. Kind of looked like a normal zombie in my opinion. So not as cool as some of the other ones. So the only challenge for the Imp Champion is no special attacks. Should be quite easy to be honest. So let's blowpipe him to death. Looks like a slightly cooler Imp. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> so the only challenge for the Skeleton Champion scroll is that I can only use ranged attacks. But since range is my best form of attacking, it doesn't really matter. So right here is in my opinion by far the coolest of all of them. Like it looks amazing. But it should go down quite easily. And it's down already in like five blowpipe pits. Um, so I can now fight the human champion because I defeated all 10 other champions. But for the human champion, I can't bring any items in my inventory. So let me bank all of those. Okay, so this is the last fight. Only challenge is no items in your inventory. So let's fight him. I think I can just pray. Yeah. Just do this, and then I get this amazing cape. Oh, shit. 
and he is down already. Oh, I got the cape already. Sick. Look at it. Ah, juicy. This looks so fucking nice, man. I don't know why. Ah, takes so much work to get this stupid cape. I think I can get some extra experience somewhere right now as well. So let me get upstairs and let's go to over here. I think this chest first. I can turn off the boosted stats right here. So first you get this full wall where it shows that you defeated each of the champions. And then you can search this chest for this XP lamp. And it gives me some Slayer and Hit Points experience. And again. And again. I'm already 99 Slayer and 99 hit points, but I'll never say no to some free experience. XP, more XP, even more XP, amazing XP, XP is nice, holy shit. Yeah, it's empty now. So, in total, I gained 40k Slayer and I think 40k hit points experience from this thing right here. Which is actually quite cool. So doing it was like 100k Slayer XP an hour. So if you already had the scrolls, it would be efficient to do them just for the experience you get. So after a bit of testing around with different pieces of gear, I think I found the perfect fashion scape for the cape. So full gilded with some blue flowers and this amazing cape. So by the way, the cape has no stats as far as I know. But it's all about the fashion scape with this cape. So really nice. Spent so much time on this. And I got lucky. So I could have spent so much more time on this. Oh, and somebody brought me the golem. Really nice. So I have the perfect fashion scape right here. Full gilded. And he even brought me the golem. Really nice. Thanks, bro. So, this is everything for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Check out my clan chat, Michael's First. Currently it's a bit empty because it's time where nobody's locked in, it looks like. But if you need a clan chat, join in there. Thanks for watching. Thanks and bye.